out special edition here at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas on a beautiful gray Sunday. You know, for Texas, the weather here has been just ab- abominable, rainy, yeah. and, but well, that's been good for the convention. Well, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. That's what they say when you're in Texas. Well, that's what they used to say in Cincinnati, too, where I grew up. But uh, <laughs> You are watching Lagging Out live here with Funny Guy and Chieftain at South by Southwest. We're here in our booth. Uh, I guess you could say we're live now, but when you're watching this, I don't know if we'll be live, but that's uh, okay. We'll, we'll be live. We're here live. We're recording and live. We're recording live. Now, here's the cool part, if you've ever watched the show. Um, I don't know if anybody knows the story, but Chieftain and I met 10 years ago on Xbox Live. This is actually the very first time that we've ever been on camera in the same place together. In fact, face-to-face after 10 years. Um, it's been a really, really good show. We've gotten a lot of fans and a lot of coverage here. Uh, we've had some... Uh, Thank you uh, to our new subscribers, by the way. New subscribers, our new followers. Don't forget... Uh, we are on Twitter, at Lagging Out. We also now officially have an Instagram. Yes, we do. Uh, which is at Lagging Out Show. So be sure to follow us there on Instagram. Go like our Facebook page. And, of course, as always, subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, it's been a wonderful convention. A lot of, uh, just to give everybody a kind of an idea of what's going on, you basically have, uh, this is a gaming convention with, uh, everything from board games, traditional board games, uh, a lot of cosplay going on. There was a cosplay contest uh, this cosplay. weekend. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we've been busy at the booth, uh, so we haven't been able to get a whole heck of a lot. It's just us here. Right. So, uh, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of time to walk around. A lot of wonderful independent developers, just to name a few of the businesses that are here. This is the official South by Southwest booklet, just to show you we are here. Um do you think we should sign one? Yeah, I don't know. I, I know we it's kind of sign one and give we should it away. sign one and give it away. I, I think this should be part of our giveaway. Sure, why not? Yeah, that's a good um, idea. We've also uh, we've been giving away a pair. Of, uh, uh, we gave away a couple pairs of gamer gloves. If you are lucky enough to be here or have been here, come by our booth. You can get the official lagging out pin. Let me get it without the glare there. There's there glare everywhere. There's yeah, there's glare glasses. everywhere. There's glare on everything. You can, you can see the monitors. You can see the monitors in our glasses. It's awesome. That's We're so okay. professional over here. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> uh, some of the developers that are here, Blendo Games, Edge of Reality Games. Uh, a lot of you work at Edge of Reality, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, you actually uh, worked on the Halo game. A lot of really cool uh, independent games here. Um, let's see who else we got here. We got Mayfair Games, big board game company. Right. I'm a big board game player from back in the day. Uh, Wars. There's... Wargaming.net's here. Wargaming. World of Tanks, if you guys That's don't World know of that. Tanks, if you play World of Tanks. In fact, awesome. if you were lucky enough to be here, uh, I have to get you over there today. They're yeah. giving out cards, so if you weren't here, you missed out. But you're going to get some free gold for Xbox Live. That's awesome. Pretty awesome. I need help because I just have that roller skate right now. Yeah. Guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like I'm, I'm getting bombed. Yeah, I'm it's not like tough. Search and Destroy. But yeah. with tanks, so yeah. you have to be really tactful, and I'm just, I, I have the Call of Duty fast switch. Yeah, you gotta not run out, mind. man. Yeah. I keep telling you, you gotta, it's, it's, uh, a, it's a tank game, you gotta sit in a bush, and then wait for them to show up, and hope that they don't spot you. Yeah. But, uh, we'll probably be on later tonight playing it, actually. Probably. Spending our gold. Uh, not a whole lot of freebies being given out that we've had a chance to get, but if you are at the show, and uh, if you're watching this month's uh, PC Gamer... Uh, they're giving that away free here, and ironically, when you open it up, there's the game I'm working on, Evolve, so you can learn more about that in this month's PC Gamer, and also in this issue, all of the independent developers that are, I don't want to put that in your face, but all of the independent developers that are here at the show 
um, have their games being featured in this one's PC Gamer, and some of them are free to play. Uh, some of them are on the handheld systems, consoles, uh, a lot of PC stuff. So be sure to check them out. I'm sure some of them are on Steam. I didn't get a chance to totally check out, but uh, right. I'm pretty sure they are. And, uh, you know, of course, with Xbox Magazine, uh, of course, the focus on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. And, uh, you know, I didn't even know this when I got here. Ironically, I opened it up, and there you go again, folks. Evolve, which brings us to our trivia question, question. from the last show, which no one has answered Nobody's, on our Facebook page, and you're going to miss here out. For two days. You're going to miss out. If you can go on our Facebook page and tell us what game I'm currently working on, you'll be entered in a chance to win not only a pair. Of, I guess we're giving away a pair of gamer gloves at yeah. the end of the year. We're a pair of gamer gloves. Before we go away for the holidays, we always have a big prize, a uh, big prize package that we put together so far this year. Uh, we've accumulated a pair of gamer gloves and a copy of February's Game Informer, which has Evolve on the cover, which I will get signed by everybody at Turtle Rock Studios. Awesome. So you can have the cover of the magazine signed by everybody, including me, uh, for Evolve. Pretty cool prize. Uh, also, Curse Underground Gaming is giving us $50 for an Xbox Live card. $50. Okay. So that's uh, 50 bucks so, for you guys to spend. So that's three things budget. right now, and we're going to give this away right before we take our hi holiday hiatus. Uh, around October, November. That's three things already. And folks, we're only in March. Yeah, March. We're only yeah, in March. March. So. Uh, also, don't forget we signed those lanyards too. We have yes, we've got those that we're going to give away. We're going to sign a copy of this magazine. Well, those we can do as interim giveaways. I think. Oh, you want the do lanyards? We'll put with the big prize, but let's. We'll put one lanyard there, and then we'll do another one for another giveaway and pack it together. Right, that yeah, good? we yeah. can do that. Yeah, that's good. Um, we had, uh, who was it that stopped by the other day? Uh, uh your good friend, uh, Oh, Bernie from, uh, from Rooster Teeth. From Rooster Teeth, uh, Bernie, Bernie Burns actually. actually right, right behind, behind us uh, here. Yeah. Um, Barb, Tara, um, And they've been the real busy. busy. They, they're, they're just rocking it back there. They have like a, they have like a whole line of people and everyone's signing there. They're all signing t-shirts and posters and DVDs. Funny, it's a funny story. You weren't here on Friday, but, um, I was here by myself setting everything up and he just yells, 2.0, they call me 2.0 over there. Okay. And, I, and I turn around and like he scared the crap out of me. And I'm like, don't people usually do that to you? Because, you know, Rooster Teeth has a huge cult following. Right. So I go, Bernie, don't they usually do that to you? He's like, come over. How you doing? He's like, really? I, I'm just surprised they still know me after two years later. I got to wish he was here. I'd love to interview him. We've tried to get some people over for right. interviews. But unfortunately, everyone's um, so busy. Super busy. In fact, uh, we spoke to, what was it, Scott, was it Scott Peterson? Yeah, he, P at the original PSP. He uh, he wanted to uh, come by and be interviewed, but uh, today he's going to be on panel. Right. Um, we've uh, we've got some really good guests. He was here for two hours talking to Yeah, he was. He was here for two hours. Big just. dude, six foot five. Unfortunately, we didn't have anything set up to record the show like we're doing today. Right. Because, you know, we're that on top of it. Um, Thus the name, lagging out. Yeah, well, we were lagging. lagging. Well, when you're working on three hours of sleep, funny guy, it's a little bit harder to... Uh, so, um, yeah, you know, it's been very busy. Uh, we've got, uh, in fact, uh, we met up with a very good uh, uh, a good uh, clan that's filled with law enforcement officers. That yeah, that was pretty exciting. About 500 to 750 members, and their founder, uh, we spoke to him yesterday... So we're going to have a very, very good guest uh, in that respect on a future show. Uh, I'm also lining up uh, a couple of guests uh, from developers. We'll just leave right. it at that uh, for later on this year as well. I have one of my buddies that actually owns a company here in town, and uh, he's, he agreed to come on the show as well. Excellent. So Excellent. that's pretty cool. So unfortunately, we would have these people on now, but they're all busy doing kind of the same thing we're doing, they're at their which booth. is promoting, uh, you know, their... Uh, you know, their game or, you know, whatever it is they're promoting, they're promoting their business, if uh, you will. Kickstarter, whatever, if it's a game they're trying to get funded, if it's... I think we're the only podcast here funded. I, we are. Yeah. I believe we are. And uh, so. the cool thing is there's been a lot of really good speakers, too. So if you did have a chance to come... Uh, in fact, uh, yesterday there were a lot of good speakers. Uh, if you're interested in starting, like, your own comic book, uh, they had some really prestigious uh, folks... I, I have it. Uh, I didn't have it bookmarked here in the magazine uh, and the guide, but uh, you know some of the topics that have been discussed. Let's take this up here. It's a little dark. Um, you know, uh, five ways to blow our minds. Uh, is uh, Big Brother watching and tracking today's gaming activity? Uh, yesterday there was a great lecture on um, 
if you wanted to start, say, your own comic book, how to get noticed, how to get it out there in the digital age. Um, I know that there's some speaking going on today about being an independent developer. So if you were interested in trying to learn how to start your own gaming company. A lot of uh, colleges here, too, uh, for a lot, game development. A lot of colleges, a lot of schools. The uh, Austin Film Commission is here. That's right. They're uh, here every year. It's a really, really big event. And, uh, you know, Huge. we're very lucky to be here for that matter. Uh, so... Uh, you know, kudos to uh, South by Southwest for letting yeah, us be here. Huge. Thank this, you very much. This is probably the biggest one that they've ever had. Because I've been here last year and it wasn't this big. And uh, the other big announcement too is uh, this year it is. Uh, it's not quite official yet. I don't have my confirmation, uh, but uh, uh, I will be able to go to the E3 this year. So nice. we will have some E3 coverage uh, this June. Uh, and if you want to keep up with us on all that, as we always say, be sure to go to youtube.com slash lagging out, like, subscribe, follow, uh, go to our Facebook page on Twitter and on Instagram. Now we are, uh, at lagging out show, all one word. Uh, and, and on Twitch, we're lagging underscore out. Lagging, and everything else is lagging, lagging out. underscore out. You always correct me. I came up with the name. No, we came up with the name. Now we're gonna kill each other, just like just like K. Mackey you're said. With, you're you're within an arm's distance now. I can not literally choke you. Yeah, but the one thing he said to me was kind of funny. Uh, uh, he goes, "You're a lot shorter than I thought you were," and I said, "You're about as tall as I thought you'd be." <laughs> He's um, about three apples high. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's hard to believe that I'm uh, only five nine. Although in the shot, um, it looks like he's taller than me. But uh, well, you know, we're. Uh, we got our cool banner here behind us, as yep. you can see. Thank you, uh, uh, Twilight's wife, for that. She for designed designing it for us. That. Yes, thank you very much. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, here, we're going to we're gonna tell you what we're going to do live right now. We're going to have our... Do a little photo op while we're doing the show here, and then I'll go ahead and post that on the Instagram. Say hi to our fans out there. There we go. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, in fact, while I'm here on the air, we'll go ahead and post that to Instagram. Of course, uh, if you're watching the show, this already happened. It's kind of weird. Like being in a, like, it's like reading a Stephen Hawking book, I guess. I was thinking Back mm -hmm. to the Future, like the second one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, it's kind of back, kind of a yeah. Back to the Future sort of thing. Um,. I but almost I, want to go behind us and pull Barb here and just have her pop in and say hello, but I think they're kind of busy right now. But uh, it's been a really good show, folks. He's actually cropping it and color correcting as we're doing the show. So yeah, he's, he's multi-test. Multi color correction crashes my phone because I have an old phone. What can I say? You're bragging about I, I don't really have phone. a smartphone. I have like a learning disabled phone. <laughs> it's, uh, it has you know, a walker. <laughs> yes, it has, it has, a, a, has a walker. It's uh, and it has a small helmet that it wears. So, but uh, its cousin is the Zach Morris phone from Saved by the Bell, <laughs> which were good phones back then. Yeah, they the were good phones. We had that conversation yesterday. Yes, I had a funny story. Um, funny guy doesn't believe me, but we actually had someone uh, come to the come to our what's this called the booth? The booth. Yes. Yeah. Came to our booth yesterday. He's like, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, I looked behind me real quick, and I'm like, me? He's like, yeah. It's like, and he just came around the corner, so he didn't, he didn't see the sign or any of our uh, paraphernalia that's around. So he goes, "Where I know you from?" I go, "You can." I get that a lot. It's like, hopefully not from America's Most Wanted. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> but um, aging myself there. He's like, or, "Are or, you Chief?" Uh, or Dateline. The Dateline. Dateline. I go, too. "Oh yeah, the, yeah." Don't I, didn't I see you on Dateline? Yeah, that's that's when you're at a convention and you do what we do. That's not what you want to hear. Right. I like we should do a Dateline thing to catch a camper. <laughs> there you go. You know, it would have been nice to have King of Games here, but I think he's going to be coming. I talked to him recently. I think he's in the him and Gary contest. Camper are going to be uh, showing up on one of our very soon next episodes. We are still also continuing. I'll let you handle this. The great search for the, the great female, female host sit in, uh, female host search to sit in. Right. Uh, for when zombie can't be there, go ahead and uh, field that while I'm going to finish. Right. Go ahead. Our, I'm going to go finish that story real text. quick, and then I'll touch touch on that real quick. Okay, gonna... So the guy comes around the corner, and he's like, "I know you from somewhere," and I'm like, "Where? Um, do you watch a lot of podcasts?" He's like, "Yeah, that's where I know you from. You're Chieftain," and I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "How do you know that?" And this is like, we only have like. 
like 74 subscribers. It's like, oh, I watch your show every week. I'm like, really? <laughs> just like, can I have a picture with you? And I'm like, yeah, sure, man. Thank and you. where was I when all this happened? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think you were getting Whataburger. And Whataburger it he was. He loves Whataburger. He's like, I'm, I'm in Texas. I got to get Whataburger. I had to have a Whataburger, folks. Actually, I, I, I needed to eat because uh, it's I like in and out. out, probably. It's, it's, it's like it's, in and out, but uh, it's not in and out. It's Whataburger. Right. But it's really good. Yeah, it's awesome. So if you're ever in Texas, definitely try Whataburger. I, I, There's wait, a free plug you for know, that. Right now, they should, be like, they should be like a Whataburger guy coming in right now with like two double cheeseburgers for us. Like, like, here you go, guys. But, uh... Yeah, but yeah I got a picture with him and his and I uh, and I told him he's like yeah I worked at Roost, I worked at Rooster Teeth for a season as well and he he starts like doing this I go dude I'm just a I'm just a pixel monkey I just I just moved pixels around and made stuff look pretty he's like that's so awesome I want to work there I'm like everybody wants to work there so um, I forgot to post this onto the Facebook and the Twitter what's that I forgot to post the picture on Facebook and Twitter I'm Idiot. That's all right. We, you're multitasking. That's fine. That's it. You get a pass. Guess what? I'm gonna Go, post going on twice. three hours of sleep. I think we're doing a great job. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. <laughs> uh, that's right, folks. Three hours of sleep is what we've had. I had uh, to pick up probably this. less because of daylight savings time. Oh, uh, that's true too. I had to pick up this knucklehead at five in the morning on a Friday, so I didn't get any sleep that night. Well, either. he says he had to pick me up at five, but it was more like five thirty. I actually, he texted me. He said, "I'm home." <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, the eagle has I landed. Said I'm here. Did I say home? No, he said, that's I'm autocorrect. Gonna, yeah, yeah, it's on, I'm autocorrecting. No, he says the eagle has landed, and I was like, all right, I'm on my way. So it took me 30 minutes to get there, and I got him there. I'm like, I'm the white car outside. He's like, well, there's nobody here. It's five in the morning. There's taxi cabs and police, folks. The, the, only, the only other option was a cab or to get a ride from uh, uh, Austin's finest. Right. And uh, I was almost gonna give them 40 bucks to get him the super shuttle back. I, didn't want, I I value my sleep more than anything else. So, really? I love sleep. You wouldn't know that because I work on the show all the time and I do a lot of other uh, personal projects, graphic design and photo restoration. And if you guys have photo restorations, uh, message us on our uh, Facebook page and I, I can do some photo restorations for you. I do it for fun, but I also do it for a little bit of money too. I just use it as a donation for the show. So that way we can actually get... New computers. And new we lights. have gotten a donation, haven't we, yeah. for our t shirts? Yes, we, we did. We got a $29 donation, and every $29 you get a free pin. What a deal, right? $29 for a pin. That's and, okay. And uh, what you do is uh, we're trying to hit a goal of about $900. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these t shirts for giveaways, promotions. Yet another giveaway. We're going to probably put that in our prize pack at the end of the year. And uh, we're probably going to do giveaways during the, during the year. Also, um, we actually teamed up. I actually didn't tell you about this. I apologize. I hate springing stuff on you on the show. But the D20 Girls, which is a female advocacy, advocacy group, is actually going to help us with uh, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month stuff. So Excellent. That, so that's that, in October. That's in October. So you know, An interesting fact that we learned here at the show is, number one, the mean age of a gamer is 34 years old, which is kind of common knowledge amongst gamers. That's correct. But uh, did you know that 47% of the gaming population out there is female? Right. Funny guy knows this, but not a lot of you guys knows this, but breast cancer runs in the family, in my family. So it's a charity that's close to my heart. And uh, I had family members that actually died from it. I had a, a great aunt that actually beat it four times. The fifth time wow. she unfortunately passed away. But uh, she, she was badass. She was strong. And beating it beating it once is a testament it's a, to it's itself. A testament. Yeah, it's so, exactly. I mean... I know we have a lot of fun here, and I don't want to be, like, a downer, but that we do that as well. Be a downer all the time? No. But we, we, we do go. a lot of charity work and stuff like that, and uh, we work a lot of hard. We, we work a lot of hard. We work hard uh, to get the show going, and we also do a lot of volunteer work, too, so that's really important to us all. Having a, half our staff is female. There you go. So That's, uh, wow. that's a great shot. Wow, that's an awesome great picture shot. that you all can't see. You are watching... Lagging out. Lagging out, the best podcast about video games that you're not watching. Right. Uh, we're here live at South by Southwest. and uh, We have a lot of people looking at us. A lot what of people looking at us. What doing? are these guys talking about? How you doing, folks? How you doing? Don't forget to watch our show. Like, follow, subscribe. You can win great prizes each and every year. We're we sponsored have... by TheGamerGloves.com. That's right. We can't forget about that. Uh, TheGamerGloves.com. Folks, do you want to wear what the pros wear? 
get yourself a pair of gamer gloves. Here's the cool part. If you weren't lucky enough here to get to us at South by Southwest and enter the raffle, we've given away a pair of these every day. What you can do is go to their website, and that's at thegamergloves.com. Type in the coupon code LAGGINOUT, that's L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T, and you can save 15% on your next pair or multiple pairs of gamer gloves. You know what the attendance was throughout the weekend? Uh, I'd say there's they been... They estimated 4 million people total for South by Southwest. But that includes the music Everything and film. Because we're not, just so you all know, if you're unfamiliar with the event, South by Southwest is a collective uh, convention uh, that basically celebrates uh, interactive gaming, uh, or gaming, if you will, the gaming expo, including board games, video games, developers. Uh, in fact, we're right across from a really cool steampunk RPG uh, board game. Yeah, and the um, girls are hot. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're very attractive ladies. I, I'm getting uh, whiplash. A lot of them very attractive I'm just ladies. just doing this. Here. Wow, there's there's another one. Wow. And uh, wow. look at that. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one. It's been hard to keep his attention all the last 48 hours. A little bit of ADD. Yeah, and keeps yeah. doing this a lot. Um, <laughs> I have the Twitch, too. And then you have all, there's like three uh, buildings here at the convention center. Is it three or two? I think it's... I don't know if it's three or two. I, I think there was three in the book, and I think it, there was actually three. There's a There's a live live music section, and then there's, um, right, there's a panel discussion section, and then they actually have the main and then area another, that's broken up. In the right, and then sections. another building that's got, that houses uh, everybody who's showcasing, like, film and video uh, production, and then there's a whole other section for music. So it's a very, very big uh, artist-centric uh, event that goes on every year here in Austin. Uh, we've talked about being here for years, and uh, luckily for us, we, you know, we're here this we year. We actually made it, so. yeah. We actually hit a thousand likes on our Facebook page just recently, so thank you guys for for that. I don't have my applause button. Yeah, so. and I don't Yay! <laughs> golf clap that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we actually hit a thousand there. Um, a lot of a lot of sleepless nights to get those thousand likes. But uh, thanks to all those uh, Facebook groups. Um, thanks, mom. Blue Polar Smith in particular. Thank you. She's actually in England, and she has a, a nice uh, gaming page that she allows us well, to we share. Were we were talking about Blue Pipe too last night. Right? Oh, Ro Blue Pipe. Oh, yeah, we love Blue Pipe. I yeah, was, we do yeah. like this guy. Those are I'm gamer sorry. gloves. Those are gamer gloves. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to tell about the newsletter. That's oh, okay. that's what you want to make okay, sure. Go. Yeah, I want to make okay. sure people know we are going to have a newsletter here uh, eventually. Go out about seven to five days before each episode uh, when we broadcast, and then this we're way we're not going to spam you with life insurance information yeah, or Viagra ads that sort of thing. To head on well, here. we're actually going to put, we're going to be re redo our website. Yeah, that's coming very soon too. We're going to have a new website, uh, hopefully here within the next month or so. And we're going to put the buttons on the website. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to get a button and visit us here at South by Southwest, are we going to sell them on there? Is that what? Yeah, we're going to sell them. Yeah, okay. So you'll be able to get a button. You'll be able to go and buy your official lagging out button. Uh, they'll be uh, how much do we need for tea? They'll be nine hundred dollars a piece. Right. They're they're gold plated. Yes, they'll be nice. In fact, there's for nine hundred bucks. You don't even have to pin it on yourself. It'll jump on your exactly. your shirt or your jacket. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna be, but uh, you'll be able to buy them uh, we'll, from we'll the website. We'll post it on our Facebook page and all our media outlets, and we'll get we'll when we know, you will know. Right. We we don't know right now. So. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, apparently, people don't realize that when they see two people talking into a microphone, that that's their cue to talk to us. Right. Uh, so, um, we're doing the uhs and the ums again. Today. Yeah, I know. I'm tired, man. It's I'm jet lagging. I mean, <laughs> and scrolling down the site because we have to tell people to scroll, right? Oh, here we go again. We got to <laughs> tell people to scroll. So, well, because I'm thinking because no one hits that PayPal button, so I'm thinking it's like maybe yeah, don't maybe forget, folks, on the you, bottom because you, it's such an awesomely designed website that you, you have to scroll down to look for the PayPal you button have to instead scroll of being on, all on websites. the top. Uh, if you want to donate, do go to lagonout.com, hit the pay, scroll down the page, hit the PayPal button. Any and all donations are appreciated. You got an extra two bucks laying around, that's cool. I just or got 20 that? years of graphic design experience, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I'm saying designing a website. All of our. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, okay, now, I, I okay, as a, as a writer then, uh, explain to me the difference between graphic design and web design. They're, they're, they're two different things, They are right? two different things. Okay, but, I'm just making sure. But there are certain principles that are dissimilar. Hey, I'd be happy we got a website. <laughs> I'm happy we do. <laughs> I'm grateful. That Coming up, the games on our next episode that we'll be talking about will be, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Titanfall. Again? 
Well, it's going to be out. It's well, going to be out. It comes right. out for the 360 in a couple of weeks. I believe it was released. comes out in two days. It comes out for two days for the One and PS4. Correct. And then uh, a different developer, as as we all know, if you know Titanfall, there's a different developer is actually doing it for 360. And that release, I think, is the 22nd. Don't quote me on it, but I know it's a later release. And uh, I'll be bringing a review to you for the South Park Stick of Truth. Oh, uh, a game in the awesome. next couple of weeks. I've heard a lot about it. I've seen some gameplay. I've uh, got a few friends that have played it. Uh, I don't have a copy of it yet, obviously. I've been busy here all weekend. You have four options um, to play four different types of characters, yes, right? Yes, you have, uh, uh, well, everybody kind of, you, know, you play, uh, I believe it's a paladin, thief, mage, which, is, and they say in the, in the game, it's like, a mage, it's like a wizard, only less cool. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and then you can be a Jew, <laughs> which God. is... Uh, and the game, Parker. I don't know if people know this, was written by uh, Matt Parker and Trey Stone. Matt Stone and Trey Parker. And, uh, I don't think they care what order you say it in. Uh, you know, it's uh, like they're watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, <laughs> what are they going to do, show up at my door and give me a hard time about it? Uh, it's the, the game, is what I've seen so far, is absolutely hysterical, but I'll be able to give you some more details uh, once I procure my copy and, of course, embark on a completion of that game. Uh, it's, I'm looking very forward to playing it. Uh, is, there, is there any other games? Uh, we'll probably do a little bit more World of Tanks, too. They've been very nice to us while we're yeah, here, giving us really uh, cool. coupons for free gold and stuff. So we'll do a little more of an in-depth review. I know I know uh, Chieftain's been playing the game lately. I've been playing it. Zombie Killer's been playing it. Draco's been playing yeah, it. Draco's it's a playing. very, very popular game. So we're going to delve a little more in-depth into some of the annoyances and the details of that game to... Maybe give you some tips, help you out, and maybe not uh, get killed as often as we do. Right. Yeah, Dr- uh, I'm Dr- really learning. good for that. Maybe we'll have him on because he has a What Scratches My Disc. We can actually yeah. do a whole World of Tanks thing and have him help people because I'm it's beyond diffi- help. It's a difficult game, but it is a lot of fun. It is fun. Um, it's been out and for it so long. Take and some and patience. Uh, 360, I've talked to a lot of PC players who've played the game on PC, uh, interestingly enough, and they've all said that, you know, a lot of times, and I'm sure you know this, that PC games don't always translate well, yeah. Well, to a console, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to use Command and Conquer as an example because some of them have been really good. But in the beginning, Command and Conquer, they had a very hard time translating it right. to make it work on a console, you know, with sticks and buttons. Yeah. And uh, this game, World of Tanks, has made the tra- every PC player that I've talked to that's played the game has said it made the transition very well. In fact, really some of them difficult. even said I prefer playing it now on my wow, 360 really? as opposed to playing it on my PC. That's interesting. Wow, you actually had people actually said that. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, that were playing it with me on 360. Oh, okay. So they, I was on. So they actually played it on PC as well? Yes, they and played they it on said PC. They preferred I, said, on I asked them, I said, you know, which did you like better pieces? I, you know, I'm typically a PC gamer, but it translates really well. And they, it, it's, it's uh, how did he say it? It's not, uh, you know... Some people are really good with a keyboard and a mouse. This guy might not have been, and what he said to me was, uh, I really like what they did, and I'm playing it more now on my 360 than I did when I had it on my PC. So, And cool, they man. also have like another game that's coming out where uh, it's Air, Air Warfare. I don't know the name of the game. Yes, uh, that's War coming out still does that. Yeah, yeah that, that's that, coming that, out publisher. soon. And then there's also, uh, we've got some other stuff lined up for game reviews. Uh, I finally have bitten the bullet over the years and made a new Steam account. I've gone back to playing Steam at home. So uh, wow. one of the things we're going to do this year, too, is give you reviews Before on some of Before your those. computer reboots, you can actually have time to play because you always your, your computer's always rebooting when we're doing the show. So yeah, you're able well, to play a, play a PC game? Yeah, not all of them, but um, we will be able to review, or at least I'll be able to give us reviews. I'm sure you will, too. Yeah. Um, you know of uh, a lot of the free-to-play games on Steam, which number in the hundreds. Uh, in fact, I'm lining up right now, hopefully within the next 10 days or so, uh, I'll get to delve a little bit into Marvel superheroes. Nice. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that review as well. They never make well. Spider-Man strong enough, in my opinion, in those games. Well, I, wor- I worked on a couple. I worked on uh, Ultimate Spider-Man years ago. A great Did game. You? Yeah, I was uh, inspired by the Brian Michael Bendis horror. Is that the is that the third person? Like you play as a third person and you're able to shoot like spider. Yes, but balls. it was all cel shaded. It was all uh, if you remember the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate I played Spider-Man. that game. You were, I didn't know you even worked on yeah, that. I uh, love that game. Brian Michael Bendis was I one of the executive the producers version. who his artwork got very well known for the comic book. Right. And then the comic book uh, inspired the cartoon. 
which is on Netflix if you've never watched it. It's Watch absolutely it. awesome. awesome, the artwork. Uh, it's not per se his artwork, him drawing it, but he is one of the executive producers, and the artwork is definitely, uh, you know, the cell shaded artwork uh, that was in the comic book. And then uh, in conjunction with that, when the show was on, uh, there was a game that was put out by uh, Activision, and I was lucky enough to work on that, and it was a lot oh, of fun. Cool, it was man. really good. So uh, I'm wearing my official Los Santos lifeguard shirt. Nobody's asked me where Los Santos is. That uh, nobody's nobody asked me where Los Santos Beach is, and I'm waiting for that to happen. They're looking at all the cosplay people. They're not really looking at us, guys. We're going to get some pictures out today. We will have some pictures of that on our Facebook for you. In fact, that's uh, as soon as we're done recording here, we're going to go around and because uh, we are the sex symbols of lagging out. (laughs) Sure, (laughs) if you insist. I don't know. I'm being facetious, but I guess you can't see my eyes. (laughs) <laughs> and they've been giving out whistles here, which I think is brilliant when you have gamers who like to make lots of noise. Right. Uh, like the video games aren't are. making noises themselves. Yeah, and they, we are being, everybody, lo- uh, being loud enough shouting into our microphone. I don't, I don't want to say what kind of whistles they are, <laughs> but I've said off what kind of whistles they are. But I'm just going to call them annoying whistles. Yeah, I would say they're loud is what I would call yeah, them. Yeah, and they have like little disco balls on the, on the lanyards and stuff like that. That doesn't make noise. No, but it's it looks cool. I'll say this. If I was a parent and picked my kid up from this thing and they had a whistle, that's the first thing that's coming off the land. Yep. It's cutting it right off. That's I'm not going to happen. I am done. May as well give him a boat air horn. <laughs> right. And, you know. But it's uh, uh, been a very cool show. We want to thank South by Southwest for having us. Yeah. Um, we're going to ready to go shoot some pictures and... Yeah, yeah. Let's shoot some pictures. Shoot some pictures, talk to some people. We, we haven't really had a chance to see a lot of the show uh, other than when we get here in the morning and set up and everybody else is doing the same. So it's been difficult to uh, talk to people. Um, so we're going to take some time out from now, uh, probably shoot some video clips, take some pictures. Uh, don't forget, folks, you are watching or have been watching Lagging Out live, recorded live here from South by Southwest. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. At youtube.com slash lagging out. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash lagging out. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, at lagging out show. On Twitter, we are at lagging out. And on Twitch, it's lagging out underscore, lagging underscore out. out. Uh, thanks every very much for uh, tuning in, being here. We want to thank everybody for uh, following, uh, uh, you know, subscribing and everything while we're here at the show. Uh, thank you to our fans for watching this. I'm not sure if we're going to cut this into a live show or not. What is that what we're doing? Well, I'll figure it out later. We'll talk, we'll talk about it later. All right. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. So uh, on behalf of the Lagging Out staff and crew, we want to thank everybody. Uh, you want to name everybody here who's helped us while we've been here real uh, quick? Roommate, Laura, uh, someone from Gamer, Gamers Geek Radio, Adam Stitson. Uh Our graphic designer, Killer Twilight. Twilight's, I say Twilight's wife. Uh Moa Beat, Moa Beat in general for all, all the work Zombie that Killer. Uh, all of our female sit-in guests. All our female uh, sit-in guests, yeah. I, I forget Le- all that. I'm trying to remember everything Le- right now. And it's Le- like, ah. Lethal Minx. I was going to say, yeah, but I feel bad if I just... Uh, yeah. Don't forget Fierce Gaming Females on Facebook. Go like their page. Uh, Scott Peterson for stopping by, thank taking you, some Scott. pictures with us. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you, Bernie, for stopping by. And hey, saying thank hello, you, Bernie, Bernie, for stopping by. And uh, I guess that's it, man. Is yep. that it? That's it. That's Game that's over, it. bitches.